So the press tools you've seen working under the press. This is the, the base unit, which is the, th the thing I made first. I made these on the, for a number um, four fly press, uh, which is what I had at the time. So a bit of, bit of tube, which is five inch, so 100, yeah, 125, something like that. Five inch tube, which has then got a bit of uh, five eight, 16 mil round welded around the top of it uh, to soften it in. And then I had a bit of uh, 10 mil, uh, which I got hot and pushed into there. And in order to get the sort of the full curved shape, if you just push it in the center, obviously you'd get a, almost a cone. I use a whole series of bosses like this to, to, to push in, to actually fill out that shape to get this bit bent here. Uh, and you can just see there are rings inside there where those different sizes of chomps went in to form it up. Having got that, I then made up uh, subsequently drop-in ones to suit to sort this deep one. Put a 10 mil ring around the outside edge. A shallower one again with a 10 mil ring around the edge just to, to locate it. As you can see, I've now, although I've got lugs on the side of this for holding it down, actually on the press there, it works very well as self-centering. You can actually offset it. It's quite useful to be able to slide it around on the on the base. So all of these tools were made up in the, much the same way. I mean, it's the amazing thing about this system is that you can actually bend 12 mil mild steel cold. I mean, that was formed cold under those tools, under that little press. Um, with, with no effort, I mean, you can see all the dimple marks all the way around there, just so you know, a few more blows than if it was thinner material. Um, fun, fun things you can do with folding and strip stuff. You saw the distortion here, that's the original. You can see how much bigger the, um, the holes in the centre have stretched and how much they've uh, distorted it on this outside edge. Uh, that's from that piece, it's always a bit of stainless steel, two mil stainless steel, so you're trying to do that with the hand hammer would have been very sore on your wrist. A um, bit of three mil uh, mild steel off an old oil tank. Um, see how much of the paint that got disturbed on that. The big thing about this is you're not undoing the work. Um, you're, you're, you're only moving the metal once, which is what, where it gets its efficiency. It's not from the 12 tons of, of pressure, but it's actually from the fact that you're working a small area. And uh, I was trying to work out how to describe it best. If you put a dimp in here with a ball pin hammer into a flat sheet, uh, you've got this, the convex, the concave shape here that you're, you're trying to form. This gives you a convex shape, which you've got to unbend. You put that bend in there, and you've got to unbend that in order to get this next piece down. So lots of little dimps. Uh, all of which has got to be unbent. It's all metal which is being stressed unnecessarily. When you use this big mushroom tool, basically you only push it into, in one area, in, in one direction all the time, so you're not actually wasting work having to unbend stuff. hope that makes sense. Cheers.